Watching the world burn, watching the world burn, September 26th, 2023. Let's get into it. So the, uh, the first big piece of news is Putin is going to China. Now we know that uh, Xi went to Russia. So uh, we see that uh, relationship ship, uh, solidifying. And, it, you know, that, that was the number one thing that the United States, uh, before Biden, of course, before the Biden administration, before the Democrats destroyed the nation, uh, that we didn't want to see was an alliance between Russia and China. But uh, we're, we're going to see that, uh, you know, before I even get into all of the news, I just wanted to throw that out as the first piece of the video. By the way, the boo dog is back. Uh, the wife is going to Biloxi to spend all the money that, uh, or the ex-wife, uh, when she divorced me, she's she's gonna go gamble that money at uh, in Biloxi. So uh, let me, uh, you know, I always forget about the stuff that I put beside me. Let's get that out of the way because that might be more relevant to you than geopolitics or anything that's going on. This is the first thing. Uh, this is some liquid cement crack filler. Uh, I don't know about you, but I always have weeds growing up in the cracks along my sidewalks in my driveway. You, you got to blast them out with a power washer, maybe clean them out with a screwdriver, uh, hit, it, hit it with the blower, and then you can put this crack filler in there and that will eliminate a lot of those weeds. And so that's kind of a project that I'm into right now. The other thing was this, uh, I'm going to tell you what, 30 second outdoor cleaner. Holy moly. I cannot believe I've had... Uh, well, I've had the HOA. I mean, I tell you what, one of the problems with living in a gated community, uh, it's a it's a blessing and a curse, because uh, they're after me on everything, man. I had to take two trees out in the back because they built a new fence, which I appreciated. That that cost me money. Now they want me to take two trees out on the side of the house. I'm in the process of working on that. Uh, then they said, well, the gutters were too dirty. Well, I tried power washing them gutters. I hit them with everything I possibly could. 30 second outdoor cleaner took it right off. Now I had to get up with the spray bottle with a ladder <laughs> over top of bushes. I'm going to tell you what, that's why I haven't made a video in about four days. I've been up on the ladder spraying this stuff on, on the gutters because I got to get it just, and it's this stuff's expensive. It ain't cheap. Uh, so you're not going to sit back with a, with a power, you know, a sprayer and just spray it from a distance. You got to get up close and personal and just get it on there. But it worked like a charm. So anyway, that's 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 the latest. Uh, I told you I would find out about this radio right here. Uh, this is the CC Radio Solar Digital AM FM NOAA Weather with Alert Solar uh, Wind Up Emergency Radio with built-in LED flashlight from CC Cream. Now, I called them today, and the, this has a lithium-ion battery, but it's one of those, uh, I don't know if you've ever seen them, they're, they're about a battery about this big, uh, that you can buy them at Amazon, uh, so they're completely replaceable, and you can take it out of the radio, according, I have not bought the radio yet, I am going to buy it, and so that means that this lithium-ion battery can be replaced, the radio will run about 50 hours on that battery, uh, and with the solar capability, uh, you can recharge it. Uh, it takes, boy, it takes a long time on solar <laughs> to recharge that battery. But, I mean, you know, if you're going camping and stuff, this would be the perfect radio. Uh, and I tell you what, CC Crane, uh, they're a small, um, they, it's, a, it's a small company in a small town, but they make good stuff. And, and so I've been real happy with their Walkman, uh, the CC Crane Walkman. And, uh, and so that's, and also they, uh, there's another radio, I should have brought it out. But anyway, the, the details on this, it also runs on three AAA batteries. Now the batteries, the radio can't recharge the batteries with the crank or the solar panel. But I mean, if you buy rechargeable batteries, you can just plug in your batteries and recharge them. Now, the, the thing I don't like, it's, I'm sorry, the AC adapter, which I don't see where you need it. I mean, it, if you could, I have, uh, I can recharge, I can just take the lithium ion battery out of the radio and I have chargers in my house that I can just charge up the lithium ion battery. And, uh, and then also with the, the, the double ace, I can recharge those. So this would be a good addition to your household. Uh, so let's, uh, let's get into it. 
uh, this is going to be a short video. This was a RT video where they uh, went to the front lines. I don't like borrowing a lot of material from news channels, but this video was amazing. And I encourage you to watch the whole thing. Let's watch the video and you make your own determination. President Zelensky's uh, much publicized trip to the United States, uh, a slew of Western media outlets have come out with headlines trumpeting Ukrainian successes on the battlefield, especially at a time when those successes are desperately needed after four months of grinding warfare. Uh, and it has been difficult to conceal the losses that Ukraine has endured during those four months of warfare. Kiev is applying pressure across multiple fronts in southern and eastern Ukraine, and it has made notable progress. In August, Ukraine liberated the village of Robotine, penetrated the first line of minefields, tank traps and trenches in the south. Early in September, Ukrainian troops began attacking the second line, an important step towards severing the land bridge connecting Russia with its troops in Crimea and Kherson. Now, all of these reports are strikingly similar to what we heard at the end of August, and they are all citing the Ukrainian, the Ukrainian military about successes near Verbavoya, Zaporozhye uh, region. They all sound similar because they are exactly what we heard at the end of August, when indeed Ukraine first reached the defensive lines that they are now boasting about reaching. At the end of August, Ukraine ceased using military vehicles, tanks as well as armored personnel carriers, infantry, uh, fighting vehicles, those vehicles that were supplied by the West and which burned all across Zaporozhye region. For three weeks since then, Ukraine has only used infantry assault, so sent uh, manpower, infantry, uh, at defended Russian positions uh, to, to, to break through Russian lines, and those haven't met with success. We were in uh, the village of Vyrbavoya and traveled just outside several days ago when Ukraine resumed uh, uh, the, this tactic of mass armored offensives. And indeed, we filmed where the, the front line is, a scant kilometer or two past the Russian defensive line, the first Russian defensive line that they breached in August. There has been no progress since, and as a result of this latest Ukrainian uh, Ukrainian offense. Indeed, as we were there, while we were there, 600 for, uh, meters from us, uh, a German Marder in, uh, infantry fighting vehicle, as well as a Ukrainian uh, BMP-82, were destroyed along with 11 other vehicles. The sun rises over Verbavoya. It is here that Ukraine's much hyped summer offensive broke. These fields are a graveyard for thousands of Ukrainian soldiers. But something is wrong. Smoke screens stretch for kilometers. They aren't Russian. Wave, I'm Leo. Yes, yes, I'm taking off right now. Leo, in a nutshell, what are you going to do now? Now I will look at where the enemy vehicles are moving in order to quickly hit them with artillery. We are with a squad at Spetsnaz troops, 22nd Spetsnaz Brigade, Russia's elite special forces. Mars is the commander. Wave, I'm Leo. I see vehicles, three units, four, five units. I'm observing, ready to adjust artillery fire. Hit the 53rd point, I will lead. In reality, there were many, many more. We did not yet know that this was just the first wave. After throwing out smoke, screen, smoke screens, it was suspected that there were enemy vehicles on the roof and now we have now confirmed that there are four, uh, four APCs, armored personnel carriers and the Ukrainian tank. A какой tank is yeah? Yeah. Uh, unidentified tank for now. Anti-tank missile launched. All good. Second 
Разрывы. A Ukrainian armored vehicle with about a dozen crew and troops on top takes a direct hit. Those still able run for cover. Others sprawl, injured and dying. Suddenly, a second projectile slams in. No one will help these injured. Their comrades will leave them here to die. The Ukrainian infantry uh, disgorged by these APCs is now on the, on the retreat. At least one squad out of one vehicle is now retreating under fire. This, this isn't going well for the Ukrainians. Look, two abandoned Max Bros. Some of their foreign junk. A few hundred meters away, what appears to be an American-supplied Max Pro armored vehicle also burns. No one saw the contingent get out. It is a horrible end. There it is, on fire. Did you hear it? Yes, there's smoke pouring out. Wait, I'm Leo. I confirm, point 71, one enemy vehicle destroyed. What was destroyed just now? Another enemy infantry fighting vehicle. How many in total? Three in one hour already. Any infantry still moving there? Infantry all destroyed with the vehicles. Can't see any survivors around. It is a massacre. Ukrainian conscripts sent on a suicidal charge are cut down along the front line. But while Russian artillery reaps its deadly toll, Ukraine's guns target the defenders. Within direct range of vision. That was an American supplied cluster shell, 155 millimeter cluster shell detonating in that strip of forest over there. While it wasn't aimed at us, at that point, the Ukrainians hadn't yet found us. It was still sensible to take cover. What we heard a few times. Пролетел и не разорвалась. Это, это что? Ну это вот дефекты. Многие боеприпасы да, которые, да, встречаются, то что не разрыв, то есть она просирает. Ну блин, что-то вот с кассетками прям очень часто получается не разрыв, да? Да, 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 не разрыв и присутствует. Все лет надежды. Когда разрывается вот такой. It had been just two hours since the Ukrainian attack began. In those two hours, four armored vehicles were destroyed. Dozens of Ukrainian soldiers killed and injured, and it was just the start. The second wave was already on its way. Borat Gazdiev, RT, from Verbavoya, Zaporozhye region. Wasn't that amazing? My God. God, can you imagine being in this war in Ukraine between Russia and Ukraine? I mean, it, just the footage from, from that video was, was unbelievable. And I have other videos, but I don't want to add them to this because when I get too long, I, I had, let me just give you some, some feedback from X. Okay, one of the guys, uh, and I won't, I won't name him, he says, I watch your videos. They're great. And you should have way more followers. Maybe you can post them more regularly here on Twitter or X. And I said, well, I do post them on X, but a lot of times X limits me. They won't, they throttle me. And I can't post some of the videos if I get too long in the tooth. Uh, or I don't understand. I, I mean, I really don't know. Some of my videos, I think, oh, this video is not going to go. It's too long and it goes up. And then other videos... They're pretty short and they don't go up. So I, I have a hard time posting on X and that's why I, I post on all three. I am that cybersecurity guy on YouTube and I am, no, The Burn, excuse me, The Burn on Rumble. 
And, uh, and then, of course, I am just that CyberSec guy here on, on Twitter. Uh, another uh, little tweet here. I'm just going to finish off the video here. I have videos on X. Just click on my profile. However, sometimes on X, they will not let me post. So, so that's how you can get to my videos. I mean, if you, if you click, whenever you see a, a Twitter or an X post, you can just click on the, the, the icon on the left, and that'll bring you right into my profile. And then you can just scroll down through my feed, and you can find my videos. Uh, the last thing was here was I thought that this was an interesting post by Wall Street Silver. Thousands of migrants are crossing into the United States across the border from Eagle Pass, Texas. Duh. Okay, if you don't have strong borders, you don't have a strong country. No, I'd say you don't have a country at all, and, and that's where we're heading, uh, under the Democrats. Uh, I don't know why they want to destroy the United States, but they hate the United States. And uh, I think there's a new book out uh, that they hate the United States uh, by Mark Levin. Might want to read that book. So, and then who is funding this? Who is providing food and water during the journey? Why does Mexico do nothing to stop this? Well, I can tell you the answer to that question is the oligarchs that we have in the United States. The Bill Gates. The I, And I don't have any evidence of this, but I can tell you that, uh, that it's, the, it's the rich and powerful that want this. Now, I don't understand why they want to destroy the United States. It doesn't make sense to me. But anyway, peace out. Stay free, say hi to the boo dog, and we'll get to the next video. Run on for a long time, run on for a long time, run on for a long time. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. Go tell that globalist liar, that Democrat idiot writer, that rhino rambler, that nuclear war gambler. That backbiting U.S. politician, sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down.